Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Sammy here with another video. And in today's video, we are going to be planning Monday, June 26th through Sunday, July 2nd in my Erin Condren Life Planner. This is the very first week of this planner, which is an exciting time. And to top it off, it is also my birthday week. And so I'm super excited to just jump in and get this done. Here are all of the supplies I'm planning on using. I grabbed my uh, mild liners. I just grabbed the rainbow <laughs> um, just because that's what matched my stickers I'm going to be using. I'm also using the Zebra Sarasa Clip in the 0 0.5. This is my most favorite like everyday pen. And then I have my Christian Designs Micro Perm marker. I've already written on my Christian Design stickers, but this is the pen that I use. This one's from her shop, but you could honestly just go buy the micro perm um, pens on Amazon or just wherever you can find them, like Michael's or wherever, and use those. I have my washi cutter. Um, I'm using, or I would like to use, this black party hat washi from Christian Designs. This actually came from her anniversary sale that happened about a month ago and so I have that. I have the little add-on for birthdays from the Celebrations collection this year. I love this because you have cakes and little Steve's and so you have the option of like doing your age in balloons or candles and so I'm going to be using this. And then, so I was wanting to use the Christian Design Celebrations Collection um, birthday kit, but that one has not released yet. I thought it had because I've seen at least one plan with me with someone that used it. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm going to use this kit. And then like as I was planning out my June kits, I realized I didn't have it yet. So I'm like, did I forget to order it? And I looked on her calendar, Christian Design's calendar for her releases, and it doesn't release until this week actually, which was kind of a bummer. I wish that it was released sooner so I could use it, but it's fine. I'll still buy it and use it probably for my daughter's birthday. But I did have this celebrations kit from last anniversary, her last anniversary sale from last year, 2022. And so I decided I was going to use this instead because it's very birthday party-esque themed. So I have all that. I also am using some top priority stickers and my AM and PM stickers from Christian Designs. So this is a very Christian Designs plan with me. We got washi. This is a washi cutter from her. Markers, stickers, the whole shebang. Um, before I start out, I did have some people comment about, um, kind of asking about my planning routine and I do plan on doing like a full video on that later, but I did, I do pre-plan before I do anything in my planner. And this week I did use the Christian Designs, um, plan pad, weekly note pad, um, to plan out this week and so that's just going to be for reference. I also had some people that were super sad because I just introduced my plum paper vertical priorities and now I'm already kind of like making a switch to this but I already kind of planned out my week in my vertical priorities. Um, this is also just a little Christian Designs kit I decided to use that's kind of birthday themed. Um, I kind of want to play with both and kind of see what I like more. I don't know. So there might be some weeks where I do sticker two planners. I've also thought about maybe using this more for... Oh my Sorry, my daughter came in and um, needed some help with a toy. But anyways, I do plan on using this. Um, I'm trying to think of what I said before I press pause. Um, I do plan on using this probably for more like just pen and like mild liner type plan with me's. I don't know. To be determined because I like this layout. I actually like really, really like this layout. It's so nice. Um, 
I just love Erin Condren. Like, there's just something about it. I'm always drawn to it. And I just feel like I can never let go. So, anyways, there's all that. All of the fun announcements and things. Let's go ahead and get planning. So, um, to start off, I'm just going to kind of have these all spread out. The way I did this is each sheet coordinates with one day. Um, so, um, just kind of need to spread everything out and see what I'm working with here. Um, I did want to first put down these washi strips and put them down here. So, they have the little habit tracker thing. Um, in the new hourly life planner, I honestly don't plan on using it. I will probably still have or make my own habit tracker, but I will probably have more than two habits. And so I will just do what I've always done, which is write in my own or make my own or whatever. That is one thing that I really liked about Moxie Life is that they had like a decent sized habit tracker. Like it was more than two, which was super nice. Um, but I understand they also had that because they are a goal centered planner. So that makes sense. Um, but anyways, I am just super excited to be back in this planner. I'll be talking more about kind of like my planning plans, I guess. Um, planner stack, I guess, is what we call it, right? Um, and kind of share where I'm at with that in the next couple weeks. But I don't know. I just kind of want to explore and have fun. And so that's kind of where I'm at with that. That looks super cute you guys okay so here we go i do want to add a little birthday steve but i might add him at the end we'll see we'll see how crazy i give this okay so i also am like this is all new because they changed a lot of this. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do washi first because I did want to use this washi and now I have my answer. I'm going to use it right here. But I need to like make sure. I always struggle with lining it up and I don't want to like get my face in the camera. There we go. I know I've done that before. There we go. Okay. This week is super exciting. And so it is my birthday, but we also have some fun things that we're doing this week. Um, at least I do. I will talk about them later, but it just should be a very fun celebratory week. I, it's also like, I feel like once June is over, that is when I feel like um, things start to pick up. I am a teacher, for those who don't know. And I um, I'm on summer break right now. And so it just feels like June is super slow and I'm just kind of like in this limbo state of, I don't know what is going on. Well, I know what's going on, but I just like, have, I'm not in the mood to do anything. I'm super tired. I kind of want to work, but then I don't want to work. And so I don't work. But July, I'm like, okay, I feel a little bit rested. I'm ready to go. And that's kind of how I always view the last week of June is like that pump up week, if you will. Um, and I think I view that this way because for two reasons. One, because it is like the mid year 
and getting ready to go back to work, all of those things. But then it is also my birthday week. And I feel like my birthday is really like that mark of a new year instead of like January, if that makes sense. At least that's how I've always viewed it. Maybe I'm just crazy. I don't know. But I think that looks super fun. Super cute. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that I want to kind of like have it, it is an hourly layout, but I want it to be hourly, if that makes sense. So, and I also want that Steve on here. So let me see really quick. Scoot this over a little bit. And then I know they're not lined up and it's not perfect, but that's okay. We're gonna be able to do it. Yes, we are. That's cute. It's kind of angled weird. Maybe I'll fix him a little bit. Straighten him out a little bit. There we go. And yeah, there are some numbers kind of poking out, but I honestly don't care. <laughs> Although I do kind of want this down before. Anything else? There we go. Okay, Steve. There is your home, right there. Um, and so now I'm gonna use, whoops, knocking things over, these AM and PM merging stickers. And then I think what I'm gonna do after that is, so I made a to-do list, but then I also put the things on that said to-do list out I didn't know what way I wanted to really do this, but I think what I want to do is maybe just do the to-do list. I don't know. I wanted to have options because I wasn't sure what I was really going to be in the mood for. And so we will set this here. I need to put my top priority sticker down. So cute. And then um, around nap time, well, actually, this is what we'll do. I do need to clean the car, and I did not put that on my little to do list. And then I am marking nap times, not for myself, but for my daughter because that has been rough this summer. It's her actually getting down for a nap at a decent time. It's not, not been the best, I'm not gonna lie. That looks super cute, you guys. I love it when I don't know what the heck I'm doing. So then I kind of wing it. And then it all just kind of comes together. Okay, so there is Monday. That looks super cute. I like that. So now we are just going to do the same thing for the rest of the week somewhat because, let me just drop some stickers. Um, Tuesday is my birthday so we're gonna have our other little steve friend and i think what i want to do is the balloons so i am turning 26 and so i'm trying to think of what color combo i want i think i'll do well he's already pink so i will do a blue
And then I will do this like purpley blue six right there. Cause yes, I'm turning 26, super exciting. Um, yeah, so there's that. And then I'll still do my little routine sticker. Because I still will need to do that. Um, I've always wanted to go out for my birthday. Like go somewhere. Like out of the city, state, whatever. But my husband like can never get to this week off because of his work. And the next week is the 4th of July. And so it's like he can't get it off for whatever reason. It makes me super sad. But I understand why. Um, he can't get it off. And so I always have always just like hung out at home and waited for him to get home before really doing anything, but that's okay. Um, we have some fun things planned this year and I'm super excited. I feel like my birthday, and I feel like everyone might feel like this. I love my birthday. It's probably like my most favorite day of the whole year. Um, I've just always been a birthday person. I don't know why, but I have was just always that kid that had a birthday party. I just love celebrating and having fun. I love other people's birthdays. And yeah, but my husband's not a birthday person. And so, I don't know. I think I'm not gonna need that. But as I've gotten older and I don't think this is because of him. I just think it's because I've gotten older. I just have not, I don't know. Like, I still like my birthday, but like when people are like, what do you want for your birthday? I don't know how to answer that question anymore. Or I used to be able to just like say what I wanted or what I wanted to do. And now I'm just like, I don't know. What, what should we do? And so... I just think it's kind of funny how that happens with age, I guess. Um, but we do have some fun things planned. We are going to see The Little Mermaid when my husband gets off work. Um, I was going to take my daughter to go see The Little Mermaid while my husband was working. But I think it would be easier for her first time if we were both there with her. And so that's what we decided on. And then we're going to dinner. I don't know where yet. I can't decide if I want steak or Mexican. Those are like my two favorite things. There's this local Mexican restaurant. And they have been like my family's favorite since I've like been alive basically. Um, it's the only Mexican restaurant we've really ever gone to. And they just make the best everything like we love the chips and salsa i always get their enchiladas and it is just so good so i can't decide if i want to go there they also have nacho dulce and i love nacho dulce and guys i just realized i put an am routine sticker right there instead of a pm so that's where my brain's at but so good or we can go get steak and we normally go to like Texas Roadhouse for when we want like barbecue or steak or whatever. I know it's not like a barbecue restaurant, but just like a, it's a steakhouse. So I don't know. I don't know what I want to do. I did go to Texas Roadhouse last year, but I guess that's to be determined. But there it is. The week so far. I really like how this is turning out. Um, and so now we're on to let me move some stickers out of the way. Wednesday. But anyway, so I can't really tell you what we're gonna do, but after we go to dinner, we are gonna go bowling, which I'm super excited because it's also my daughter's first time bowling, and so I don't know. I feel like since being a mom. 
I'm just more excited about doing things with my daughter than anything. And so it will be a good day no matter what. But and I've thought about maybe like going to lunch with her while we're waiting for my husband or just hanging out, doing something fun at home. But yeah, so moving on to Wednesday. We have my AM routine and I'm gonna use this sticker. It says, this is my year to sparkle. I just love that, it's super cute. And then, okay. Let's see here. I think I'm just going to, I'll put that here. Do I wanna put that here? I actually think I'm gonna switch these two. Because I'm, I want to kind of play with the idea of following the hours, if that makes sense. I've never done that before. But I kind of want to experiment with that, especially with it being during the summer. But I don't typically use the hours. But there are some things that I want to track that are hours based like nap time <laughs> and then I do need to go on Wednesday when my husband gets home I need to go up to the hospital and get my neurology labs done for those that don't know I do have epilepsy um, I've had epilepsy since I was three and so I had my yearly exam last week with my doctor and everything's normal I haven't had a seizure in two years which is super exciting um but they wanted to get labs done and at my appointment I could have gotten them done but I had to bring my daughter with me and so I didn't get them done because they prefer little children not to be in the labs which makes sense and so we just went home and so I just need to make sure that I get those done so they can tell me if they need to change my medication dosage and all of that fun stuff but I am super glad that everything went well with that that we're doing good because for a while it's kind of it was kind of rough with medicine and everything like that because not everyone's made differently and so my body takes medicine differently than someone else's body and that's just the hard part of having any type of sickness but I am doing well now though and so I just need to make sure that my levels and everything like that are good to go okay Thursday Thursday, Thursday. We have our AM and PM routine already put in there. Um, I think what I'm going to do is do the sticker first this time. So blow out the candles. I love that. It's cute. Also, one thing I love about these stickers I forgot to mention, I don't know what it's called, but it like has like the 3D effect to it. Super cool. I love that about the new Chrissy and Design stickers. I think it would be really cool if she did her celebrations collection like that one year. I know it would be a lot of work, but it would be so freaking cool if she did it that way one year. Okay. Thursday, we don't have to run any errands. Thank goodness. But, um... I do need to get some stuff done around the house. And I'm just going to bring that down a little bit. Because we can't forget nap time. My daughter is at that weird age where she doesn't, I don't know, like, 
she doesn't want to nap, but she needs to nap. And there's some days where I just did not have the energy and I just didn't make her nap. And she gets super cranky during the day or like towards the end of the day, but then she goes to bed really good. And then the days that she naps, it's like a battle to get her to bed because she says she's not tired. And so I, I don't know what to do there. If you are an experienced parent of a, well, yeah, just experienced parent and you've had toddlers before, please share your wisdom in the comments because I don't know what to do. And I don't know, I just kind of just feel lost there. And like it's me against her all the time because I'm the one home with her. And so I don't know. It's just hard. But anyway, so Thursday, it's just a bunch of like chores, cleaning, laundry, video stuff. Like really that's all this week is just like random chores. I want to get back on a cleaning schedule and then just like filming, setting up some stuff, but it should be good. I'm excited. Um, let's do an alternate right there with our top priorities. Cause yeah, once again, I labeled everything but I just like it in the checklist form, I think, a little bit more. Because it just kind of is like, boom, this is what I need to get done. Instead of trying to figure out where to stick things. And I do have a lot of, like, little extra washi pieces. So I'll probably use those in my daily planner this week. Which is super nice. That's kind of what I've been using my scraps for. Um, is for just daily planning, I guess. That's what that thought was all about. And then we'll put that thing right here. I love that. It's super cute. Okay, Saturday is a fun day because I'm going on a little road trip with my mom and sister. That was my birthday for my parents this year. And so we're waking up Saturday morning bright and early so i will need to wake up early on saturday which is why i'm keeping my am routine actually mm, i'm gonna bump it down because i need to put the weekend sticker we need the weekend sticker and i have too many stickers on my fingers but i think what i'm gonna do is alternate this Maybe some of these stickers are hard to get off. It's kind of annoying, I'm not gonna lie. Please. Seriously, what is going on? There we go. Get the weekend sticker. Perfect. But anyway, I will still put this right here. I do have to wake up early because we are leaving and it's around 7 a.m. is what my mom said. But we are going down to St. George for a little girl's trip. And I'm actually going to use this piece of fat washi, or actually, yeah. And that, and I can still do the sticker if I wanted. But we're going down to St. George to see, we're going down to Tuacon, which is an outdoor theater to see Tarzan. I'm super excited. It's gonna be a lot of fun. 
I'm gonna put the little car down here. But yeah, so that's what we're doing. I'm really, like I said, excited. It should be fun. I think, now I'm kind of thinking, yeah. I'm gonna put this little Steve. Actually, maybe. Yeah. I'm gonna put him right here. Maybe, I'm gonna hold off on him for a second actually. Um. But that's what we're doing. Super excited. Um, we're leaving early because it takes about five hours from where we live to get down there. And the show's not till like seven o'clock at night. I think seven or eight. Now I can't remember. But um, we're going to stop for lunch midway and then do some shopping, hang out in St. George, go to the show. And then we're actually coming home the next morning which was a really really quick trip but it'll be fun so my routines will obviously be a little bit different because i will be on the road but that's okay And I actually could do the same thing with the car. Oh my goodness. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put this down. Sorry, I'm like trying to think if I do this. I'm actually going to put the car up here the first time, like we're driving down to St. George. And then I'll put the car here for coming home. I don't know. Actually, we'll do it the other way. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh my goodness. There we go, that works. I just wanted to use this sticker. And I think I'll use this one instead of the George one. Or not George, Steve. Did I say George before? Now I don't remember. Guys, my mind is going crazy. Um, but I wanted to use the party like it's 1999, but I'm gonna cover up the last nine and put a seven with a date dot because I was born in 1997. <laughs> so there's that little tidbit. Um, I know that looks funny. I don't care because I like it. And I actually do think I'm just going to use the little, strips like this here because these are the two things I need to get done when I get home and then I have my PM routine there we go and that is basically my week Super cute. I like how this turned out. I kind of want to use him somewhere, but I don't know where to put him. And I feel like that's a lot. I don't know. Yeah, that's too much. Too much, Steve. I'll find another place for him. Maybe he'll go on my daily planner for my birthday. Um, but I did want to use these fun balloons. And I'll put them right here. On my birthday. Okay. So, last thing we need to do is put down my meals for the week. And then I do need to do... 
habit tracker for um what was I gonna say? The last week. And I think what I'm gonna do actually, if it's close by. My desk is a mess, you guys. I I have a messy desk. That's what that thought was. Um and my daughter was messing with my stuff before I started filming. Where is my Moxie Life thing? I'm gonna find it as soon as I'm done with this. It's gonna make me mad. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do the highlighting and then I'll put in the boxes later. I should have found that before I started filming, but I didn't. But I'm just gonna put seven boxes across. I could just wing it and do it myself, but I'm not going to do that. Um, and I only have three habits that I want to really focus on for this week and for the rest of July, really. But I thought, why not just start them this week? And so the first one is drink 60 ounces of water. Um, I want to make sure I'm reading for fun every day and then just my scripture study that's really all I want to focus on so I'm going to kind of zoom in a little bit but there's that and there is the whole week now it's too zoomed in there we go um but this turned out really cute and fun I really like the colors and it's just really fun. I love it. Um, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Also, I want you guys to share your favorite birthday memory from your most favorite birthday or a favorite birthday if you have multiple. And I will share mine. So I have two. The first one was when I was 18. I actually got the opportunity um, to go on a senior trip a few weeks after I graduated high school and I went to Rome, Italy and Rome, Italy. Yeah, Rome, Italy. I went to Italy and Spain and France and it was a lot of fun. And I was 15 or 17 when I left and I actually got to turn 18 in Rome, which was so much fun and probably one of my most favorite memories obviously that's why I'm sharing it and then my next one would probably be the last year now last year it really wasn't anything special um but it, I just I don't know my birthday just felt good if that makes sense like it was just a fun birthday um I was able to do a lot of fun things and I I don't know I went got pedicures with my mom and my husband took me out. Um, I actually got to go to Build-A-Bear last year, which was super fun. Um, I'd never been to Build-A-Bear workshop before. And so that was a bucket list item for me. And I made a Harry Potter bear and I named him Barry Potter. And he's like my classroom mascot. He is a Hufflepuff like me. And I don't know, that's just one of my favorite memories just cause it was just super simple and fun. And so share your favorite birthday memories in the comments below. Let me know what you think about this plan with me. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, it was fun chatting with all of you and planning. Um, and don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. So you don't miss any of my planning content here on YouTube. And until next time, guys, I will see you all later. Bye.